the moment you want the truth, as badly as you just now wanted air, you'll find it. We can show you the truth, but you have to want it. Show me. I want to know the truth. We start this morning in North Korea, where a magnitude 2.9 earthquake registered shortly after midnight, striking near the re regime's nuclear test site. The U.S. Geological Survey says a quake was detected some 23 kilometers northeast of the Pungeri test site, but it has yet to confirm whether it was a natural or a man-made tremor. But South Korea's Meteorological Administration says a quake was natural. It's becoming an all too familiar scene. Over a thousand firefighters are tackling major blazes across Portugal. At least four of the 11 wildfires are classed as major by the National Civil Protection Authority. Abnormally high temperatures are said to be fanning the spread, cutting off several roads and sweeping through at least one vast forested area. One person is known to have died while tackling the fires. Over in the United States, renewed high winds are further fueling the catastrophic wildfires in Northern California. The blaze that began Sunday local time have killed at least 23 people, left hundreds missing and destroyed thousands of homes and structures across the state. Nearly two dozen incidents spanning eight countries have shard more than 680 square kilometers, a collective area larger than the city of Chicago, making this one of the deadliest wildfires in California's history. The National Interagency Fire Center says at least 8,000 firefighters are trying to contain the situation. Governor Jerry Brown has declared a state of emergency for Napa, Sonoma and Yuba counties. Germany is officially allowing same-sex couples to get married. They celebrated its first same-sex weddings on Sunday. The new law now puts gay and lesbian couples on equal legal footing with heterosexual couples. Town halls everywhere opened their doors to mark the event. Parliament came to a vote about the subjects three months earlier and the law passed. 
Gordon Holland, a registrar in Berlin's Schonenberg district, was quoted saying, We are making a single exception to fire a symbolic starter pistol because same-sex marriages are possible from today. A retiree, Stephen Paddock, armed with multiple assault rifles, strafed an outdoor country music festival in Las Vegas from a high-rise hotel window on Sunday, slaughtering at least 59 people in the deadliest mass shooting in modern U.S. history before killing himself. The barrage of gunfire from the 32nd floor of the Mandalay Bay Hotel into a crowd of 22,000 people came in extended bursts that lasted several minutes, sparking panic as throngs of music fans desperately cowered on the open ground, hemmed in by fellow concert goers, while others at the edge tried to flee. More than 525 people were injured, some by gunfire or shrapnel, some trampled in the pandemonium adjacent to the Las Vegas Strip as police scrambled to locate the assailant. Police identified the gunman as Stephen Paddock, 64, who lived in a retirement community in Mesquite, Nevada. They said they believed he acted alone and did not know why he attacked the crowd. At least a dozen people were in critical condition at University Medical Center in Las Vegas, where all of the injured were taken, a spokeswoman said. Police said Paddock had no criminal record. The gunman killed himself before police entered the hotel room from where he was firing, Clark County Sheriff Joseph Lombardo told reporters. Federal officials said there was no evidence to link Paddock to militant organizations. A local school teacher plans to put up a holiday display honoring Satan in a city park in Boca Raton, and one pastor is already vowing to tear it down. CBS 12's Al Pefley joins us from the Free Speech Zone at Sanborn Square tonight. Here's the application the teacher submitted, and here's what his pentagram will look like. If everything goes according to plan, it will be displayed at this park in Boca Raton for everyone to see. In essence, they're, they're putting out a welcome mat 
for Satan. Pastor Mark Boykin is astounded that Boca Raton is going to let a teacher put up a six-foot-tall pentagram painted blood red with a wooden image of the holy symbol of Satan in the middle of it. We can't say no to this, as offensive as it is. Our lawyers said, whatever you do, don't do that, because it'll be an expensive lawsuit. I think this is reprehensible. I think that it's an insult to our city. We're getting our first look at the controversial satanic display and the application submitted by the teacher. It'll be in Boca Raton Sandboard Square on Federal Highway just in time for the holidays. A giant metal pentagram weighing 300 pounds with the captions in Satan we trust, one nation under Antichrist, and may the children hail Satan. I find this extremely offensive, but you know, again, we, we've chosen as a council to uh, honor free speech. Along with the pentagram, the teacher also intends to put up a freedom from religion nativity scene that stresses there can be no religious freedom without the freedom to dissent. This pentagram will be on display beginning December 1st here at Sanborn Square in Boca Raton. The teacher told me he's never experienced this level of hatred from religious people who preach love, tolerance, and acceptance. causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. of the church in Philadelphia write, These things saith he that is holy, he that is true, he that hath the key of David, he that openeth, and no man shutteth, and shutteth, and no man openeth. I know thy works, behold, I have set before thee an open door, and no man can shut it, but thou hast a little strength, and hast kept my word, and hast not denied my name. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. Behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. Him that overcometh will I make a pillar in the temple of my God, and he shall go no more out. And I will write upon him the name of my God and the name of the city of my God, which is New Jerusalem, which cometh down out of heaven from my God. And I will write upon him my new name. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. And they shall walk and not I'm not going to hell. Amen. Hallelujah to God. And that's not an arrogant statement. That's when I get on my face and I say, Lord Jesus, you're my hope, my help, my Savior, my Lord. You're the only way I can stay out of hell. I don't trust. I could preach for a thousand years. That wouldn't get me out of hell. 
do all the good deeds a man could possibly do, be the best a man could possibly be, give every dime I've got and give my blood and let myself be nailed on the cross. That still wouldn't keep me out of hell. But Christ Jesus the Lord keep you out of hell. As it is appointed unto men once to die, but after this the judgment. I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. For I have no pleasure in the death of him that dieth, saith the Lord God. Wherefore turn yourselves and live ye. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. God loves you. God loves you so much that he sent his only begotten son to die on the cross for your sins. And he wants to spend an eternity with you. Now, but the most important thing above all else is Jesus Christ and what he did on that cross. Accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and your savior. Admit that you are guilty before him, that you have fallen, that you are a sinner. Believe that Jesus Christ died on that cross so that you may have forgiveness of your sins and have eternal life. Believe after he died on that cross that he was buried in the tomb in the sepulchre. Believe that God raised him from the dead on the third day. That Jesus Christ rose from the dead on the third day. Romans 10.9 says that if you shall confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus Christ and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, then you shall be saved. Take ye heed, watch and pray, for ye know not when the time is. Watch therefore, for ye know not what hour your Lord doth come. Watch ye therefore, for ye know not when the master of the house cometh, at even or at midnight, or at the cock crowing, or in the morning. Therefore be ye also ready, for in such an hour as ye think not, the Son of Man cometh. And what I say unto you, I say unto all, watch. Behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. And behold, I come quickly. And my reward is with me, to give every man according as his work shall be. Are you telling me that God has persuaded you that you need to be saved? Yes, sir. You want your sins all forgiven and washed away? Yes, sir. Well, that is something that God tells us he's more anxious to do for you than you for yourself. And here in John chapter 3 is a wonderful statement of that truth. Let me have you look on and uh, let me quote it, you read it, so that as uh, you trust the Savior, you know you're doing it on the basis of God's Word. For God so loved the world that he gave... Who? His only begotten Son. That's the Lord Jesus Christ. God the Father gave him upon a bloody cross for Ricardo and for Maria and for myself, for the whole world that whosoever, again, that's a big word, it's a wonderful word, what a blessed word, big enough, wide enough to let anybody pass through it into heaven. Whosoever, that's good enough for you, for you, for me, 
that whosoever believeth, what does it say? In him. In him. Not in churches or doctrines or ceremonies or rituals, but in the Lord Jesus. Why in him? Because he's the one who at the cross died the death that we should have died because the sins were not his, they were ours. The blood of Jesus Christ, God's son, Ricardo and Maria, cleanses us from all sin. Do you believe that? Yes, sir. It's because God says it in his word and we can believe it. Should not, what's the word say there? Should not perish. Perish. That means, perish means to die and go to hell. You should not perish, but have, what's the next word? Everlasting life. Everlasting life. Life eternal, new life, life forever. He alone can forgive you and save you and change you, Ricardo and Maria, and he will if you're prepared to ask him. Are you really? Yes, sir. You want to repent, change your mind about going on in life without him or thinking that you could save yourself or, or that you're too bad to be saved? You have to repent, change your mind about all those wrong ideas and be willing to trust that what Jesus did when he shed his most precious blood upon the cross for you, that he will save you right now. Are you willing to do it? Yes, sir. Would you pray this prayer with me? Yes, sir. Dear Lord Jesus. Dear Lord Jesus. With all my heart. With all my heart. I confess I'm a sinner. I confess I'm a sinner. I need you to save me. I need you to save me. And best I know how. And best I know how. Right now. Right now. I open my heart and life. I open my heart and life. To receive you as my Savior. To receive you as my Savior. My personal Savior. My personal Savior. Wash my sins away. Wash my sins away. With the blood you shed on the cross. With the blood you shed on the cross. For me. For me. I believe you rose again. I believe you rose again. And I receive you into my heart and life. And I receive you into my heart from and life. This moment on. From this moment on. Forever. Forever. As my personal Savior. As my personal Savior. And Lord. And Lord. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 God's Word is what serves as our basis for knowing that He's heard us. Romans 10 says that whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Did you just call on Him? Yes, sir. Then what did He do according to His promise? He, he saved us. Are you sure? Yes, sir. How do you know? Because the Bible says it. And if you have God's Word, the Bible, on it, you don't need anything else. God is true. God help you now to go on with him and learn of him through his word and he will keep on blessing you. Amen.